Mr. D. Mars here with one of my great mentors and friends and Mr. Les Brown and here at the, the Lead and Success Conference. And, you know, I'm here because I know how important it is to keep continue education and learn from some of the people that have been all over, around the world like yourself. So especially in our community, African American, why is it important that we get involved in being at some conferences like this? We have the highest rate of failure in all the categories than anybody in the country. And then the reason is that how a community shows up and the people in that community is a result of their state of mind. Dr. Carter G. Woodson in The Miseducation of the Negro said, if you can determine what a man shall think, you never have to concern yourself with what he will do. He said, if you can make a man feel inferior, you never have to compel him to seek an inferior status, for he will seek it himself. And if you can make a man feel justly an outcast, never have to order him to go to the back door, he'll go without being told. And if there's no door, his very nature will demand one. And so what we have to do is effectively wage an offensive against HIV, hood-infected virus, AIDS, addiction to incarceration and death syndrome, and, and teach our people the techniques and strategies that will transform their mindset, encourage them to expand their skill set, and create collaborative, achievement-driven, supportive relationships in our community. We, right now, we have relationships that are entertainment-driven. So we talked earlier and you were saying, you know, you know how you still look good for your age. So why is it important the next generation step up and be the next leaders and the speakers well, I'm of the 69. century? I'm 69. I've had a good ride. <laughs> and so now it's time for individuals like you. I'm a trainer first, speaker second. So what I do is train individuals like yourself how to become more impactful and influential and to begin to learn the techniques and strategies and how we can transform our communities from the inside out. I'm doing an international tour with Richard Branson, who owns 500 companies and, and Virgin Airlines. And, and so we're the, we're the two uh, heading that up along with Robert Kiyosaki. And if you look at people that are successful, they invest in themselves. The average person spends less than $7.50 a year on their personal growth and development. High achievers invest over $5,000 a year. So you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. So my goal is now is facing the reality there's no success without successors. I'm a two-time cancer conqueror because of God's grace and mercy. So at this stage of my life at 69, it is about working with individuals like yourself who have a desire. My goal is not trying to convert anybody. Work with the willing. Whosoever will, let him come to work with those who are willing to make the commitment, want to invest in themselves, and teach them the techniques and strategies that I've learned over the years to not only transform lives, but create extraordinary wealth. Did y'all hear that one point? I just want you to say, $7.50 seven $7 people invest in their sales that's not successful. And what was the number when the, the higher achievers? Over $5,000 a year. So if you can't invest in yourself, that's a problem. And man, People can't invest themselves, but we buy what we want and beg for what we need. Y'all yeah, heard. I'm here with Les Brown, man. <laughs> yeah. I love you, brother. Thank I've been you. a big fan. And uh, I want. How can people know more about the they tour can, and your your school? They your, can email me at yes at lesbrown dot com. That's y e s at lesbrown dot com. And if they're interested in our mentoring program, do the same there. Okay. And they, he's not scared to share his relationship with you, because I've seen it over the years and. You know, I'm going I'm to be a part of everything you have. I probably got, so I got a whole row of your stuff. Well, I'm coming back with my daughter, Ona. You know her. So yeah, we're we going to come back. We're ready, fired up, and ready to go. All right, Brother Les. Thank you for it. taking time out. Thank you, my brother.